Hello, beautiful people. I'm just tuning in here from a very hot crate. Um, I just wanted to share something about um, the inner child work that I've been doing over the past couple of years, which has actually changed my life. It's changing the way that I look at myself in the mirror. It's changing the way that I act with other people. I have, I'm coming from a much more compassionate and much more empathic place because um, we all know that our inner child is the one that is the one that gets triggered. So whenever we have a triggering situation, it's the inner child that's tantruming and having a freak out and having a um, and uh, anger and uh, frustration and uh, doesn't know how to deal with it. So it's very, very important to um, bring awareness to the inner child and soothe and regulate our emotions re regarding um, the inner child work. So what I mean by that is um, by taking the time to really um, take the, give the unconscious and un unconditional love that the inner child, that your inner child, um, everyone's inner child, almost everyone's inner child needs um, that had met, that didn't have when it was when it was chat when it was growing up, and so that means that the inner child is um, a source of frustration, annoyance, and parts of us are also um, a lot of parts of us. I talked about parts work yesterday. A lot of parts of ourselves are actually um, kind of the energy of the inner child that was never healed. So it is a deep um, source of um, either disturbance and dysregulation and frustration and fear and all our kind of primordial um, uh, deep emotions that come up. But it's also a source of um, deep energy, deep vital energy, um, if you can release the, if you can get it connected to the inner child and um, do the work um, so that your inner child is at peace and feeling, you know, held and unconditionally loved. It's a very, very deep um, process. And I would really like to just um, share that with you today. And tomorrow I'll kind of give you a little bit more about how you can actually start the process. Just to let you know that um, it, the, the connection to the inner child starts with a photograph. Um, taking take, So to get a photograph and I'll show you tomorrow how to um, work with that photograph so that you can actually start to heal your inner child, which will actually affect your life in so many ways that you will never you can never imagine from dropping chronic pain to um, being in, in a much more state of peace um, and joy having vi your vital energy and your um, your innate health come back so there's lots of ways that it can affect you and in, I would really like to you know, encourage anybody, um, if any, if everybody had their inner child soothed and loved unconditionally in this world, the world would be a bigger, better, more loving place. So I encourage everybody to do the work and get a photograph, a childhood photograph, um, if you can, and I'll be on here tomorrow showing you what to do with it. So until then, have a beautiful evening and take care. Bye.